Hey everybody, Boxing Bow here. I got several snakes out. I want to talk about something that I think is important. This is right here. I got Sin, and she's a hypo. She's got some BCO in her, and I got her three sips. Um, but what I want to talk about is hypos and caramel carpet pythons. Now, the cool thing about this is if I breed her, because car because hypos are co-dominant, same thing with caramels and, and carpet pythons, you know, I'll, I'll get a good percentage of uh, hypos from her. Um, but that's not what I really want to get into on that part. But what I want to get into is the super part of stuff. Now, she is sold to me just as a hypo, a beautiful hypo. She has some BCL blood in her, and she's absolutely beautiful. So if I breed her to another hypo, I'm going to end up with 25%. I think, I, yeah, let me see. I got my Punnett Square. I wrote it down on my Punnett Square. Yeah, I was right. I'll get 25% super hypos, 25% hypos, and then 50% uh, uh, hypos, sorry, and 25% normals if I breed to her because she's not a super hypo. So that's the thing. If I if I take two hypos together, and that's that'll be my odds. And you guys can do a punish square at home and figure that out as well. Um, but this is what's interesting about boas is and and carpet pythons is this is absolutely just a gorgeous specimen i mean she's getting she's just beautiful but i'm going to bring out her sister now this is this when i got all three of them this was sold to me as a hypo all right now i'm going to get vanity out so yes my names do kind of go together vanity and sin all right here goes vanity hey girl sorry as she is a possible super hypo. Now that's a sister to the one I just showed you. They're clutch mates, litter mates. Um, and look at them. You can just see the nice oranges and pinks underneath that belly. Just absolutely gorgeous, very clean, and just a great looking hypo. Now she's sold to me as a possible super hypo. So that means that her dad and her mom were both hypos and they were bred and so she has a chance of being a super hypo that don't mean she is why was she sold to me as a possible super well because they're go you're going to go off the looks the color and everything like that and off the breeding but it doesn't mean that she will be a super and you have to prove that out i see so many boas being sold as super hypos that are not proven super hypos you know, those had to be proven. And so in order for you to say this is a super hypo, if I was to sell her and say, okay, I go to a show where I go online or wherever, and I sit there and say, this is a super hypo, I want $1,000 for it. And if you didn't know any better, you're going to buy the snake, breed the snake, and then what happens when you breed a, a motley to her that's not a hypo, and none of them, you only get half. That come you'll get 25% that come out hypo 25% you know hypos or motleys and and 25% normals I'd have to do the punnett square but you're also gonna get some normals you're also gonna get some hypo motleys I could go on um, but I have to do a punnett square to actually give you the actual percentage and I only did a few punnett squares on the hypos today um but so I would have to you would have to prove her out to be a super hypo before you sell her as a super hypo so that doesn't mean she's worth more money than Sin because they're not. They were sold to me for the exact same price, um, which is great, you know, because unless she's proven, she, she's not worth any more than the other one. They're they're just awesome looking hypos. And I'm gonna get their brother out, which is you know this is the this was a neat litter that mainly both had, and I was I'm happy I got these three. And they're all you know litter mates. This right here is Tyson, which you guys have seen before. He's a jungle hypo. And look how beautiful and clean he is. Now he has a little bit more black speckling than Vanity, which I just showed you. And he has a lot less more than Sin. So, and he was sold to me as a jungle hypo. Now could he be a, a super hypo? Yeah. But I would have to prove him out in order to say that. And you see so many hypos out there that aren't super hypos that are being sold as possible super hypos or are being sold as hypos or super hypos sorry a lot of hypo words going in my mind 
Um, and so you have to be careful because the thing is when, when it comes to boas and carpet pythons, when you sit there and so much is being selective bred, line bred for pastels, different colors, um, just you could get fooled by a really nice looking pastel hypo that someone can pawn off to you as a possible super hypo when in fact it's not even near what that is. But that's what that person might do. So you have to really know, okay, what was a parent? You know, do you have pictures of that parent? Do you have littermates of that parent? You know, I, it can't just be, here you go. You know, in order to prove something like that, you've got to show the parent. You've got to show the parents. you got to back up what you're saying. And so it would do a lot of breeding. I'd have to breed him to something, um, just uh, probably an air bash or something. And if they all come out hypo, I know he's a super hypo. But there's no guarantee that any three of them are super hypos. And there's a possibility that all three of them might be super hypos, but they're all going to look different. You know, a lot of people sell super hypos or possible super hypos. They'll pass them off as super hypos because they look super clean. They're really vibrant. And they're like, that's a super hypo. It's not. Not until you prove it out. Now, what happens? I got to lay my punch square. Okay, here we go. If I breed a super hypo, say I prove vanity out, and then I breed her to him. So I got one super hypo, one hypo. What am I going to get? And the punch square I got, I'll get 50-50. So I'll get 50% hypo, 50% super hypos. You're not going to be able to tell who's who. You might have a best guess, but there's no way of knowing it. And then to further that, I'll go back to my punch square. Okay. So say I prove him out to be a super hypo, I prove her out to be super hypo, so that's two litters that I gotta do separate. Now I can sit there and say, hey, both these are super hypo, so when I breed these two together, I'll get 100% super hypos. So you gotta do some breeding, you really gotta know your punnet squares, you gotta know your morphs. You gotta understand where they're going, because otherwise you can get taken very easily in this snake game. You know, and so until I prove out genetics, Vanity will just say a, say a possible super hypo. You know, obviously he's a jungle, you can tell that visually. Now I'm going to bring out something else. Here goes Dagger. Dagger is a caramel, and he is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, he does have ear and jaw in him, and he does, and he has some coastal in him, so he is a, a, a mix, which I absolutely adore, which you guys know. And he's really cool. He's actually got some really awesome purple, la I wouldn't even say lavender, just these purple undertone scales. And he's just an absolute gorgeous boy. And this is a caramel. And you can tell just by looking at it, you can see how the hypogene and the caramel gene in carpet pythons are very much similar. You can see reduced black, you know, very much brighter, way cleaner. And, there, and right in here you can see where I'm talking about, about all them purpleration colors. Just an absolute, this is an absolute gorgeous, and then the cool thing is he's got that kind of skull head stamp on his head. Um, but this is an absolutely gorgeous caramel. And it works the exact same way. It's, it's different. You know, caramel and hypos are similar, but they're different. It's kind of like azantic versus anatheristic. Similar, similar traits, work similar ways slightly different you know is this a true hypo that's debatable some people think it is other people think it's not but um, I'm gonna go with it's a caramel I'm not gonna call them a hypo um, there are hypo bread lies out there and that's a different um, trait um, that you could work with but that's you're going into a whole nother species of snakes it's even though they're light carp pythons you can crossbreed them they're, they are different species it's not like a subspecies you know, on down the road. It's, it's a little different, but it, I am going to breed bread lies to carpets, obviously. Um, but this is a caramel, so I can breed this to a jag, and I'm going to get, you know, roughly some caramel jags, some caramels, um, some normals, some normal jags, some normal carpets, and I hate saying that word normal, but you guys know what I mean. I have to say it just so you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so what happens when you add a jag to that? Well, let me get the disciple out, and he's not going to look his best because he's getting ready to go in the shed. His belly's starting to get that little opaque color. 
but this is Disciple. Absolutely a gorgeous boy. And this is a Caramel Jack. I would get out my other Caramel Jacks, but uh, three of them are deep, deep, deep shed, and one of them sitting on A. So I'm not going to bring out all my Caramel Jacks when they're in super shed and one sitting on A. So we'll use Disciple here. Absolutely a gorgeous boy. Just, just gorgeous. But this, the same problem that you have with hypos, you'll have in, in caramels. You'll see people saying, they'll post, I have uh, super caramel whatever. Unless it's proven out genetically, it might look good. And it might look like the real thing. It has to be said this is a possible super caramel or a possible super caramel jag, jag depending on what you got. And, and it's the same thing happens in carp pythons. It's, they've been line bred so much. This is, he's 100% hit for albino, and he is 100% hit for the striped line albino. Also, he's 100% hit for Ed Lilly's reduced um, pattern line. Um, so he's got a lot going on. Same with all my albinos, um, which is why I'm with Ed Lilly stuff like I'm talking about. But let me go back to what I'm talking about. So if I breed him, say this is, uh, I got females, but say this, say these two were, let me get, him over here. This, this, these are just holding containers. I actually use these for my tarantulas, um, which as you can tell by how they got the small holes. But they work great as holding containers for my snakes when I want to bring multiple out. Okay, say these two. I'm actually not going to bring both of them out because that can get a little messy, um, being that they're males. Not that they should fight at this at his age, but you know, not worth it. Um, but say this is a female and I breed these two together. It's going to be the same punch square you want to work off of hypo both. <coughs> exact same percentage. And you're going to see some that are super, super clean. And you're going to be like, oh, that's a super high. That's a super caramel. No. Until it's proven out, it's just a possible super caramel. They are But you see it all the time. And so when you go to these shows or you go to some place to buy a snake and they're selling a car python, that's this size or even that size and they're saying it's a super caramel and you go well, well don't you mean possible super caramel and they say no it's a super caramel run they're not being honest about their breeding and about their parent and they obviously don't know enough or they do know enough not to tell the truth you are absolutely stunning I love this one's eyes absolutely gorgeous blue eyes you know, so, you know, when you look at carpet pythons, you look at hypos. When you look at caramel carpet pythons, you look at hypos. You're looking at similar traits. So you got to treat them similar. And they react similar as far as being co-dominant and how they do things to the, you know, when they're putting other morphs and stuff like that. And so just do a little bit more research. It, like I said, go to morph market. If you're having trouble with punter squares or you don't know how to do punter squares on your on your on your device or you don't know how to do it by hand, um, go to Morph Market. They have an awesome um, calculator on there that'll help you figure out if you pair this to this, this is what you get. If you pair this to this, this is what you get. And I, I don't think they have it set up for carpet pythons yet. I know they have it set up for uh, ball pythons and, and boas, but you could sit there and do the same thing. It'll give you the chart and you can try and figure out, okay, if I have this morph and I breed it with that morph, what is my percentage going to be on these? And you can know there's videos on there to help you learn punter squares. But this is why it's important to do your research and really pay attention to what you're buying. You know, I've seen a couple places on, um, that are on stuff right now. Morph Mart has a lot of great stuff, but I see this one ad, and I'm not going to name who they are. I'm not that big of a, well, I am that big of a dick, but I'm not going to name them. They're selling... Actually, I'm not going to go to it. They're selling, a, it's under Jags. And it said, here's an Irangaya Jag Carpet Python. Mm. Somebody's going to buy that. And that's what I'm saying. you got to know what you're getting into. you got to know your Carpet Pythons a little bit. Someone's going to buy that as an Irangaya Jag. When in fact, it's an Irangaya Coastal Jag. Because that's where the Jag gene and the Carmel gene all originate is from the coastal. The Irangaya is a, a, a subspecies of carpet python that's on a small island, small island chain. There's actually a couple islands you can get Irangaya carpet pythons off of, but they're all right there. They're all the same one. Um, but 
it's it's a beautiful card pipe. I absolutely love it. But there's a couple other ads on there too that are selling stuff that aren't what they are. Um, it's not just Morph Morgan. I see it everywhere. I see it on Facebook. I see it on King Snake. I see it on you name a site where they sell snakes. I will see things not labeled, and that's why it's so important. You know, you can't rely on a label. It's not that that person is trying to be deceiving. I, you know, it's just they just don't have it marketed right. I'm sure if you called them up and talked to them, they would say, no, this is what it is. And they would explain it to you. It's not that they're trying to be deceitful people. But there are people out there that are deceitful and are honest, that will take advantage of your lack of knowledge and sell you this as an Erangia carpet python, when in fact it's an Erangia coastal carp python. So th that's just another little thing. You know, find out where each morph originated. Hypos, Panama, you know, Jack, Carmel, all from Coastal. The Carmel gene, I think, was actually founded and proven by, if I remember right, by Paul Harrison in, in the UK. Um, so that's another thing. You know, try to find out as much information as you can on, if you're wanting to get into morphs, on morphs. You know, so that way you know when you're going to buy a mix, if you're not going to buy a mix, what to look for, what not to look for. And I can get into all that on a different video. My main focus here was I want to touch on, you know, look out, you know, for things being sold is super hypos when they're not proven and super caramels when they're not proven. You have to prove them out. And until you do that due diligence and all that work, you can't do it. So just something to be cautious about, something to think. I know this is a long winded video. How many minutes we have, Priest? Uh, 16 minutes. So this is a 16 minute video of me ranting about hypos and caramels and possible hypos and po well, possible super hypos and possible super caramels and things like that so hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to tell you and what I'm trying to get at and also about descriptions you know pay attention don't just buy a snake saying thing this is a Darwin 100% caramel Darwin when in fact wait a minute if it's got caramel in it how can it be a Darwin it's not it's a mix but see they won't tell you that they'll say here's a caramel Darwin just thinking you need to know that that is in fact indeed a mix and if you don't know you might end up buying a, a, a pure Darwin bring those together then you go to sell the babies and say here's a pure Darwin and then you say well I got a, a caramel it came from a caramel 100% hit for albino and they're like wait a minute how can it be a Darwin then if it's got caramel so that's the type of stuff that's why you got to do your research you know do a little bit of due diligence Pay attention to what you're buying, read the descriptions of what you're buying, talk to the breeder, and, you know, trust me, do yourself a favor and do as much research as you possibly can on any purchase you're going to do. It's going to save you so many problems in the long haul. So anyway, this is the several couple of my snakes I brought out. I want to share with you guys, try to give you a different view of how different things look and what to look out for. This is Boxing Bullet. Thanks for sticking with me this long. I appreciate it. I honestly do. Um, hopefully you made it to the end. If you did, thank you so much. Please like, click, share, and subscribe. As always, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And Priest did remind me that i got to do my shout-out video. I haven't done it yet. It keeps reminding me every day. Priest, how many times have you reminded me now? Uh, I can't, I can't even keep count. Okay. So look for that to come out probably either tomorrow or the next day I will get that done because I've been slacking on on the shout out videos. There's a couple people, I kind of been debating on how I want to go about it. Like there's a couple names that aren't really known yet, but I think they deserve more recognition. You know, I don't want to just keep railing out like my, who I look at as a mentor in snakes that I want to emulate myself off, which is balls of you ball, which is balls of you. Gavin, the governor, the man, the man I want to be when it comes to bringing a snake on how I look at things, how I do things, how I treat my animals, how I treat my customers, how I run my business, how I do all that. If you want a, a template, follow that balls to you. That's a shout out. That's a guy that is the man. Anyway, you guys have a good day. Peace.